Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am c -Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing Progressive World Domination on one of the new maps. This one is the map uh, Yggdrasil, the World Tree. We're playing as a green player out of the fifth position. Uh, this map, I have uh, yeah, 42 territories, so it's the same size as the classic map. We've got nine continents with a minimum of plus two, maximum of plus six as far as the bonuses go. I believe the eight bonuses on the outside. Oh, we got uh, we got yellow losing a two position there. Uh, I believe the eight bonuses on the outside are all plus twos, yes, and Midgard in the middle is a plus six. So it's kind of all of the worlds of... Uh, of North mythology, I believe, and then Midgard in the middle, uh, which I think is Earth, I believe, in in regular uh, mythology. I, I'm not I'm not super clued in, unfortunately. So we got a five in the middle, a three here. If blue and yellow don't roll my three here, I should be okay there. We'll probably lose this one here. He rolls. Oh wow, he rolls pinks six up there to play for this top bonus. Okay, so. Uh, we could potentially have a play in here next to yellow. Does pink go into purple here? No, he goes into red. So I might lose this three down at the bottom. This seems like it might be a single position game, but we're playing progressive world dumb. Um, so you never know. Hopefully we don't lose our five at the top. Uh, but I'm probably going to fortify into this bonus here. So maybe I roll my three down at the bottom. Keep this five alive. But I think this is going to be a kind of a bonus-driven game. Uh, I guess we'll see. Maybe we give blue the chance to fortify out. We should start with quite a bit of troops. Red hits to the middle. Um, red's going to roll that three. I would roll the seven, fortify your three into the seven. He rolls the three, it succeeds. I wonder if he goes for the bonus right away now with a seven on four. I could see that. No, he does not. So red plays kind of slow, moves on to the two. Splits? Splits. That's uh, not the best play that I've seen. Um, that's interesting. So we start with five, which is nice. Purple might go for this. I'm going to throw one troop in here. Um, we're going to throw the rest on here to make sure we have an attack, but I'd prefer not to attack off that spot. Yeah, we lose that. That's fine with me. We'll come over here with an 11. We'll sit next to yellow. So the players in our game, we got the blue player in the first position. That is P uh, Pierce Lincoln flying the flag of Iraq. We've got the yellow player. Oh, it's a little, bit, a little banana juice flying the flag of Japan. I am familiar with this player. I don't know them well enough, and I'm not going to treat them any differently than I would any other player in the lobby, but I have seen their name before uh, across tournaments, but I can't, I can't avoid everybody, unfortunately. Uh, I have the pink player, General Sanda, flying the flag of South Korea in the third position. The red player, General Supermanian, from Germany in the uh, fourth position. Myself in the fifth position. We're from the United States. I'm flying the flag of Aruba again. I think I did that in yesterday's video as well. And then we have the purple player, Arlene Kipper, from Germany in the final position. So two German players in this one. I don't think that'll be a problem. I believe they joined at separate times. Uh, blue rolling out some of his material. I'll get out of his way if he's looking to escape on this next turn. I, maybe I should have made that attack there in the first place, but blue's playing uh, kind of multi-positional, but not um, not bonus-driven just yet. I think yellow... It, we're going to judge our turn by whether or not yellow takes the bonus right now. Yeah, yellow takes the bonus. Does he split? He does split. I'm going to take the bonus. I'm not going to split. We'll see what yellow does. Um, pink's going to play for the middle. That's bold. That's very, very bold of the pink player to do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, hit, uh, we'll hit blues four. A little risky, but... Banana juice, yeah. Banana juice, I, 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 as far as I can tell, I think they're a pretty good player. I, I know honestly nothing about them, though. So um, we'll start with three. We'll have 14 here. Hopefully we get as good a dice as yellow got there, because yellow hit uh, a three, lost nothing, lost no troops on any of those rolls. I might not get the same lucky dice. So uh, we'll see what happens. Red's going to try to roll that into me and wins it. Rolls my two down over there. 
I don't understand rolling that position down. Uh, red, red's a loose cannon. Loses a three there for no reason. He's going to roll a five on four here. The fact that he won a three on two is is pretty crazy, but that just makes this easier for purple to take this bonus. Yeah, red is is a very strange player. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, we'll blitz this 100% dice. I'll just take the bonus and we'll see what happens. I'm not even going to defend against him. He could wipe me off the face of the planet here, but I'm just going to bank on him not doing that. Uh, that's just... I was saying, I'm like, if he rolls, he rolls a three, loses nothing. I roll a four and lose four. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, so purple... Purple goes here. Um, we've at least knocked blue out of our area. And, and blue's pretty weak. Blue is, is going to be, was the weakest player on the board. Well, I guess red's the weakest player on the board. Uh, if I'm blue, I almost, yeah, okay. Blue's going to probably aggressively play for this bonus, which is risky, but he's defended by the purple or the pink four here. Hits me. I assume you stay. He splits. Interesting. But doesn't break purple. So purple's got the bonus. Now, if yellow breaks me, we're going to deal with it. We'll just stack up on, on one of, whatever position hasn't been removed is essentially how I'd like to play this. Oh, he's going to go right into, into pink. Loses two, so not the best, but pulls the five out. Yeah, pulls the five out. I don't want to give him direct access to this, so I'd rather play off of uh, off of my six up top. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pink rolls into the two there. Or into the... What was that? Into a four. Six on four and wins it. Okay, pink is... Uh, pink is, is pretty inexperienced. I think red is pretty experienced. Blue seems like a decent player, but the splitting is confusing. And pink has botted. Okay. So pink bots out. Uh, and this will actually make red's job a little bit easier trying to take this bonus if they desire. Um, I don't want to roll out of my main stack here. But uh, yellow could block me off. Obviously, he's the strongest. We'll get five troops on this next turn, which won't be terrible. Um... Red takes this. I've got this position here for now, but I don't really want to add to it. I'm going to knock blue out of the top. The goal is... Yeah, red is... Wow, red is not very good. The goal isn't to feed blue. And I don't even know that it is going to be a feed. Maybe I hit purple instead. Uh, but if I hit purple and leave him up here, that, that could be bad too. Um... I sit down here for now, but blue could remove me and feed me to yellow if, if I hit blue. So I think I do hit purple because I don't want to feed blue on a guaranteed roll. Although yellow yellow has the pathing into here anyway. So if, if he wants the blue kill early, I, I don't think it's going to be beneficial to him. But if he wants it early, he can have it. I'm going to put... Maybe I do roll out into the center. I'm going to roll. I'm going to sit next to him. We're going to guard this. I'm going to sit next to him. If he wants to hit me, and he very well might hit me. Um, it's it's the smart move. You never know when a player like this, uh, who well, I believe is a strong player, is going to go for you. But I'm not, by no means do I plan on trucing with him. If I see a lined kill up on him, I'm going to take it. But I'd rather sit in the middle, block him off from direct access to to pink back here other than with his small three now hopefully i'd love it if blue hit him here or maybe even purple hits eh, purple's not gonna hit blue purple's gonna play conservatively here probably roll his three in the top left yeah but this actually this forces his access to either go off this three to hit blue if he wants to kill on blue blue is quite weak red is even weaker and we're not guarding anything yet so we're guarding protection over ourselves. It's essentially a, a boiling pot, right? He gets five troops. 16 out of 11, I don't think is 100%, but it's pretty close. That was almost a mistake, I think, by Blue there, by the way. Um, I very much... Oh, my God. He, he slow rolled. He didn't... Or he, he slidered, but not full. Oh, he's so weak. Oh, poor Blue. That's so sad. And the pink bot might break him in the back. He's got to fortify this over here so pink doesn't break him. And now it's the moment of truth, right? Yellow can turn on me. Yeah, he's going to play in down here. He's going to take a second bonus. 
Wow, okay, that's smart. Well played by him. Um and and if I break him it's it's you know, it's curtains. It's not not smart of me. So this Oh, that rules is four. It fails. It fails badly. Pink bot doesn't even take a card. I don't know why that wouldn't I guess it didn't have access to the three. That was the only attack that it had access to where it stacked the troops. Um let's see if red if red kills or, or takes if, if red takes pink out of the middle, I will I will just kill it for the cards. I think that's my best play. Um three set. Hmm. He's going to try it. I I'll take the kill to take the kill. Oh, red's a bot as well. It does win. Okay. Yeah, it's just going to feed me this badly. Uh, I might as well take the kill. And that'll set me in, and then I'll, I'll still be on a, a lower card amount so I can get the next trade afterwards before everybody else. That works for me. Um, and we'll trade, we'll trade our dudes. I'll be on four cards, right? So I'm pacing, I'm pacing with everybody who's already on four is essentially the mindset there. Um, and I want to leave my pathing into red. Blue to take a card would have to hit out. We maybe have fed. I may be fed the blue kill here to to yellow. So this map is very interesting because everything feeds into the middle, but the outsides you see they're actually this is a one essentially a one chunk. Yeah, all right, yeah. Blue blue dies to yellow here. Okay. Purple goes into yellow. That's big. That helps me out a lot. That's a really aggressive play. But it helps me more than it helps yellow. <laughs> That's for sure. Um Okay, I like that a lot. Uh, red bot feeds me that kill. Blue sets in. Is blue still here? Blue is still here. He's going to break red. He's going to feed red to... Oh, he actually doesn't feed red to yellow. Or maybe he might still feed red to yellow. I think he still feeds red to yellow. Because yellow, come, yellow maybe sets in early to guarantee getting the cards here. Otherwise, he plays off the 11 over here on the right side and swoops through. Breaks purple. Yeah, he does break purple. Leaves a guard in front of himself. Does he go all the way in? Because at this point, you risk feeding me more kills, right? Blue already set, so blue's not really worth it. Bot doesn't take additional cards. It also does not have a set. I'm not going to hit this here. Uh, I'm going to play... We're going to play middle of the board here. Like, I could set in and probably kill yellow. I could set in and... Kill blue. But I'd rather wait because I don't want to make my set the earliest. I think purple's more likely to retaliate into yellow. We remove yellow up there. And we just sit we sit middle of the board, right? Blue is already set, so they're not worth the kill. We pull away here and we make yellow have to work for a kill on purple if he's gonna go for it. Purple does set. This is exactly what I thought would happen. I don't irritate yellow because I don't want to risk uh over committing to that. And this way, as long as yellow can't get the red kill, which blue might feed it. Again, blue might still feed yellow the red kill because yellow's going to set in with the second highest set. Uh, and then he'll double set off of red. But this is good because I, I yellow picked a fight with a guy who's shown he's going to break. And this is why I got to be patient here. Only take kills you know uh, are going to benefit you. And I don't think the red kill benefits me when I was considering taking it. And now blue opens himself up to a kill uh, for myself. And potentially even, yeah, feeding the red kill here. 
So he doesn't get this, and yellow is going to get this red kill off of his own set, most likely. Unless he gets really, really bad dice on this five here. If he gets really bad dice on the five coming over, he might miss it. Um, but I've essentially accidentally kill guarded red here because of blue's play there. So blue's weakened himself tremendously. Purple sets in early, which I thought might happen. I'm honestly, <laughs> the predictions here and secret manipulation, because I have a feeling the yellow player knows who I am. I don't, I think I meant to hide my name this game and thought I did, which is why I didn't think it mattered. Because I, again, heard his name, but I'm not, in no way am I collaborating. If anything, I saw that move going against this player. Um, he's going to come down here. He's going to scoop the red kill. I don't think he'll have enough juice to chain this into another kill, though. He will get this. Um, but it does not double set him. It actually, unfortunately, I think puts a target on his back. If I can kill blue first, that might be more beneficial. But he's going to get the 12 trade here. I'll get the 15. Um, I don't know, man. Puts this here. Takes this bonus, maybe. Because he doesn't break me, right? If he goes heavy into into purple, like, does he break purple on the back door here? Because then he just feeds me purple. He doesn't. But he, he, all right, he's on four cards. I think I just kill blue. Kill blue for a set. I don't set in off of purple. Uh... Kill blue set. I don't know. I, I Yellow's played this better than these other guys, so. Um, how can I split this? Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave myself. Oh, I, I don't. Yeah, no, let's do this. Uh, slider. Slider. And boom. And then what? I Because I don't... I set in off of that automatically. I might as well just kill purple and mess up yellow as much as possible. Uh, this kills purple here. We leave the 10 locked, I guess. Um, I could kill him, but I'm, I'm not going to. We're just... Oh, boy. then we'll just break him in each of his spots. Uh, I don't think his trade in's going to matter. Because I'm so much bigger than him. I don't think the trade matters at this point. 25 troops and I set in immediately after him. Uh, I'm thinking it shouldn't matter. Locks the, he essentially locked the 7 back here. And he, this 38 only has so many ways out. And he misses my 2 up there. Oh. Poor guy. <laughs> so we reward Yellow because he got abused by Purple. I didn't think it was fair for him to... Uh, I didn't think it was fair for him to get a lower placement than Purple. Because Purple set in early in a place where he wouldn't have died. We got fed a couple kills. Um... Yeah, interesting game. I, this map honestly played out better in progressive than I thought it would. We get a very quick win, um, provided we win here. I really don't think there's a world in which I don't win here because he's not going to be able to break all of these bonuses. Or, okay, he did break every bonus. I lied. But uh, but I'm going to set in on this next turn immediately, which is why I figured if as long as I broke everything, I would be okay. Uh, we'll increase our chances of getting a set on the next turn. We've got this three here. I got that three there. That might be able to capture there. So let's go six, seven here, I think, should work. Uh, and then 30. And then we'll go nice and quick. Ugh, okay. I got 21 still. I got to make sure I break everything. Come on. 
Ugh. All right, what bonuses can I protect? Uh, he gets three troops, so he can break at most probably one bonus. I think I'll be okay. Didn't increase my chances enough of getting that set, but we do come out with the victory. And and also, Yellow was nice to me in the beginning, right? Even if I hadn't heard of this player's name, he he respected the... Uh, he respected the, the uh, holding bonuses next to each other to not inconvenience each other uh, maneuver. And I, I respect that myself. Uh, I'll just dump everything here. So, good game to Lil Banana Juice. Good game. Well played. And uh, we'll do this for him. And that's a win on the third of the four new Viking maps in Progressive World Domination. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's take a look. My audio is cut out on the victory screen there. Let's take a look at the ranks of uh, these players. I honestly have no idea. I've seen, again, seen the player's name. No idea what rank they are. They are a master level player. Okay, interesting. And beginners uh, on everybody else in the novice on pink. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody. I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.